You watch a movie differently with a room full of people. Just that moment of like a comedy when everybody's laughing and it's that invitation to laugh and be a part of it. Sad moment, everybody's crying, I might as well cry too. Art is this thing that connects us as human beings. It's becoming increasingly easier and easier to create these kind of silos or, or bubbles that you're existing in. That for me is why a space like this matters so much. We don't know each other at all. And we're experiencing this thing together. Born and raised here in Billings, Montana. My wife and I, when I was turning about 30, we're trying to figure out what was the next step of our life. So we started talking about different places that we could go, different things we wanted to experience. Independent cinema would be one of those things. We would travel and we would get frustrated because it's like, man, a community like this has independent cinema. They can see these movies. Why can't we see it in Billings? I'm willing to bet that there are other people in our community that want to see those smaller budget, documentary, independent foreign films. If we want to see some things that we always wish were in our community, then maybe it takes people like us choosing to plant roots here and try to grow that thing. What would it look like for us to try and open an independent movie theater in Billings, Montana? Some people were really enthusiastic, but then I was honestly surprised at the number of people that just continued to speak of like, ah, that'll never fly in Billings. Bozeman could use something like that or go, go somewhere else because Billings is in a community like that. The biggest fear and, you know, swallow hard kind of moments. We're gonna go for this even though the odds might not be in our favor. For that thing not to go well, man, that's a big hit to the ego in your hometown. We feel like it could be or should be a thing in Billings, so let's try it. It was such a beautiful process. We knew that this was gonna be a community effort. At the end of the day, we landed on the nonprofit model. This used to be an old bowling alley and had been vacant for about 10 years. So many volunteers, people stepping up, and just, you know, even the labor. We sheetrocked to this place in a day because we had so many people just showing up to help out. And so in 2015, we opened Art House Cinema and Pub. Some of my favorite memories are those first couple of months. I mean, there are people, you know, 40, 50, 60 years old, people that have been in this community a long time. Literal tears of joy when they came into this place for the first time because they just said, man, I've been waiting for something like this for years and years and years and years. That's incredible, you know, feedback for us. When we first opened Art House, the thought that I would have Babcock keys in my pocket is crazy. Like that was never a part of the picture. The Babcock Theater is a historical theater that's been an anchor in downtown Billings since the early 1900s. The city of Billings owns it really for the last 30 years. Nobody really knew what to do with it. There's an opportunity because we're just a block away. We came in a couple years ago and reopened it as a cinema, a movie house, and have seen some really great success from it. Particularly when we opened the Babcock scene, large families come and expect to pay over $100 for their film, their popcorn, their concessions, all of that stuff. And to be able to tell them it's 45 bucks, whatever it is, you know, and, and it's almost half of what they were expecting. Our opportunity to in that moment say, we exist for the benefit of the arts in Billings, Montana. So we're able to keep our costs down and to watch them kind of go, whoa, this is, this is, this is great. <laughs> and to fall in love with what we're doing while we do it at what I would consider an excellent professional level. From day one, we've always had a vision like, oh man, we could do so many things with all of this space. A couple years ago, we launched our phase two capital campaign, which was to raise funds to do that expansion we always wanted to do. Total of three screens here at the Art House campus convert this space that we're currently sitting in into restaurant and lobby space. So we launched that a couple years ago, and honestly, it's kind of been a bumpy ride. 
because one, we took over the Babcock and so we kind of lost a year because we focused 100% of our energy on getting that space open. And then we lost a year because of COVID. Restrictions and lockdowns and mandates and all of that. There was a new headline every day about what was happening in the film industry and how it was the end of the industry, all those kinds of things. A lot of anxiety and worry. We never felt like we were alone and we never felt like we weren't going to be okay. Billings really stepped up and just showed uh, their love and support for the work that we're doing. Now we feel like, man, we got this. If that didn't knock us out, like it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot. We can continue to plan for the future and move forward because we know that we've got a community behind us. The old ways of doing things aren't always working the same way that they were. The streaming industry has been catalyzed by COVID and by what's happening in the world. It was always coming. Now it's a giant thing. While that is a challenge, yes, I, I don't think it's the downfall. I think it's an opportunity for theaters like ours to understand what's the unique space we live in the community. What's the thing that people are going to be willing to come and pay for? And that's the experience of watching it here. We as a staff walk into the room at the end of a film. You can sense it, like something happened in this room and, and people were moved and impacted. That's what good art does. That experience isn't going away. Things are moving forward. In fact, we just purchased the building, which is awesome for us and our supporters and donors. It's something that, you know, we can lean into the longevity of us as an organization. I would totally say that the, the community as a whole is impacted in a positive way because Art House exists and its work here and at the Babcock. A space like this really does matter. We just can't wait to be a space that's offering more and more and more. Billings is growing, Art House is growing, and you know, this is gonna be a great, great thing and a great future for all of us.